Police need your help in finding suspects related to a shooting in Aiden. It happened last night around 930. Two people were hurt. Police say one man was shot in the face and is still in the hospital. WNCT Zora Stevenson has more on the events leading up to the shooting and how police are trying to solve this case. Angela, everything started at this house. A male and a female were arguing and then multiple people came on over to help and it all ended in two people being shot. I got ready to go to bed and I got up to pull my shade down and I heard gunshots. Milton Blunt lives right across the street from the area where shots were fired last night in Aiden. Detectives say a man and woman were arguing and it all escalated from there. The female called her brother, which is from Winterville, and he called a friend from Greenville. They arrived on scene, uh, made contact with the female, was talking with her, and a group of males came out of nowhere from what I got, and uh, one of the males pulled out a gun and started shooting. The man and woman who started the argument walked away unharmed. The female's brother, Brian Thomas, and his friend, Joshua Clark, were both shot and taken to the hospital. Thomas has since been released. Police say Clark, who was shot in the face, remains in the hospital. Police say up to this point, no one is giving them any information that could lead to an arrest. So in an effort to further the investigation, they are walking door to door, asking people to call Crime Stoppers. It is very hard for us to do our job if nobody would talk to us. I mean, they, they want us to solve crimes, but if they don't give us information, any information to help us solve the crime, it makes it our draw really, really tough. This isn't the first time there's been a shooting in the neighborhood. Both Blunt and Detective Artists say it's very important for people who know something to say something. It might be in their family the next time. You never know, so let's be safe for one another. Crime Stoppers is completely anonymous, and anyone who provides information leading to an arrest will be compensated. In Aiden, Zora Stevenson, 9 on your side.